Okay, we are back at the Cedric County Zoo and we have Joshua with us and he is here to talk about elephant endeavors. So much good stuff for us. Joshua, I'm going to hand it over to you. Sounds good. So welcome guys. We're excited to be able to bring you guys to Cedric County Zoo. Uh, first things first, we're going to be talking about some really cool things about elephants. One of them is actually their skin. Their skin here, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different little ridges and bumps all over it. But if you take another look at it like this, there's all the little hairs, little hairs all the way across that skin. This is actually something that's really cool with elephants that what these little ridges and bumps do, as well as the hair, they actually help hold mud and water in their skin or on their skin so that way they can actually stay cool in the summer or in the sun. Also, this allows them to be able to protect themselves from other bugs as well. So an elephant, if you see it in the wild or if you're watching a video of an elephant, you might see it rolling around in mud or taking its trunk, picking mud and water up and shooting it all over themselves. That is one of the really cool things that they do to help keep them healthy and protect themselves there in the wild. They don't have sunscreen like we do. Instead, they get to use the environment they're in to give them what they need. One of the other things they use, like I said, is that trunk. Their trunks are really long. I, uh, they are about, they can reach up to almost 20 feet long. Wow. 20 so feet. a really big elephant that's maybe about nine foot tall can reach almost 20 feet in the air to get food. Our big guy over here, his name is Callie. He's walking over towards a, a, one of our watering holes. He is about nine foot tall, so he can reach almost to that 20 foot marker to get food from those trees with that trunk. So they're very important. Another really cool thing about their trunk is they have about 40 to 150,000 muscle beads in their trunk alone. That allows them to be able to pick little things up like a toothpick, as well as something as big as a tree. That allows them to be able to get the food they need to be able to keep them moving throughout the day. These guys can eat sticks, beans, twigs, bark, grass, and sometimes even pumpkins and watermelon, especially here in zoos. We really love to pamper our special elephants. So this is our big guy, Tally. And you said about how much does, does this one weigh? It weighs almost 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds, wow. Yeah. Which means so eat anywhere between 100 to 300 pounds of food in a day. I can't even imagine eating 100 pounds of food a day. No. It's That's a lot. Incredible. Like it is hard for a human to eat more than a couple pounds, even three pounds of food in a day. That's a lot. These guys, 100 to 300 pounds in a day, depending on the size of the elephant. And so there's, I we take it, there's a lot of cleanup after they've eaten 100 pounds a day. Um, and it's called scat. Is that correct? Is, is so that what you The general term scat. Yes, there are other terms used for different animals and uh, waste they make themselves. But that is a pretty good word deal to use whenever you don't know specifics for an animal. And, and there's how much do you pick about about a day with them? Well, about 60 pounds is what it's their, what, like. Their poops can weigh up to 60 pounds. Wow. So. Their waste has also a decent amount of water in it. Um, they also are not very good at getting all the nutrients they need out of their food, which is why they eat so much every day. So they make a lot of waste. We do a lot of cleanup. That is one of the primary jobs of a zookeeper. So it's not pretty, but it's also really interesting to learn because that food is also very important the environment they live in. Okay. That poop, it holds a lot of seeds and other nutrients that when they drop it as they're walking along, 
They are now spreading seeds around like birds do here in America and other animals do as well. So they're basically taking seeds from one part where they ate whatever they ate and then when they go to the bathroom they're transporting it to another location and then that's where um those seeds take plant and grow trees or whatever else okay they do that they also when they're doing that they're providing nutrients for other animals so some animals will also use that product to help make homes for themselves but also use it to help their own eggs and be able to continue a healthy ecosystem where they live. What else do you have for us here? Well, some of the other things we talked about, we were just talking about their food, are their teeth. Their teeth are really kind of cool. This is a replica or model of a tooth from an elephant, a single tooth. They go through about six sets of teeth in their life. For you and me, we only go through two. We have our baby teeth and we have our adult teeth, but they go through six. I only have four at a time. They're doing it. It's in the back part of their jaw. So when they pull in their food, they can chomp down and grind it to what they need and want for their food. Right. So, so that is just one tooth. This is just one tooth. Oh my goodness. So everybody think about like the little tooth that you have, like maybe one of your front teeth. And this is an elephant's tooth. Look at it. He's holding it in both hands and it takes up majority of his hands. Yeah, it's pretty big. Do you know what? This is the only kind of tooth they have. Oh, okay. Yes, they have other teeth that come out. And they're big, long ones. Out the what? They have teeth that come out of their mouths? Yeah, they're called tusks. Oh. It's a modified insight. It's just, it's another tooth. But those yeah. teeth, they don't lose unless they get into a fight. They use these teeth for protection, but they also use it to dig holes in the ground. They use it to break the bark off of trees, and they'll use it when they have to fight with each other or to wrestle yeah. for fun. But... Unfortunately, that's also why a lot of other people want them. So, see, for an elephant, it's made out of something very special called ivory. It is a softer material that people can use to make really cool art out of. Also, it was used to help make knife handles or tool handles, as well as piano keys. But elephant skins, and other animal products are actually now illegal to have in the United States without special permission from the U.S. government and other governing bodies around the world, making sure that these animals are protected and safe and that their materials that they give us that we can use are not used for private collectors, but used to help educate people and ways to be able to keep these animals safe. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, one of these organizations is called 96 Elephants. Why do you guys think this organization decides to use the name 96 Elephants rather than 100 Elephants? Um, I have no idea. Oh, but it looks like we've got one over there kind of in the water. Right. So we can walk over there. And kind this of one is the one. Well, wow. so Lonnie is missing one of her tusks. How many teeth do they have total? Yeah, how many teeth do they have total? So these guys will go through uh, math in my head. Total 26 teeth in their life. So they'll have their two tusks and then they'll have six sets of four teeth. So one of the things that we're looking at right now, and I'm, I really hope our, our, our little ones can see is this elephant she is taking water and spraying and you can see it's kind of muddy and just kind of covering her feet and stuff and this is exactly what the gentleman was talking about and how they use that to stay cool and absorb water is that it's how they stay cool and use their uh the mud and whatnot to protect their skin from the sun how much water do they drink in a day gallons they drink i know gallons the exact of water. amount i do not um, those will also depend on the needs of the size of the elephants. But oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. Back to your original question. I do not know why they call it 96. 96 Elephants is an organization that 
uh, protects and is it co conserves these animals in the wild. The reason they use 96 elephants is because 96 elephants a day are actually killed in the wild for their um, for their teeth and their tusks. Oh, wow. OK. And so to protect them, they took on that name to keep an eye on everything, but also to raise awareness and be able to give information to zoos, people like me, so that way we can talk about it and share it with you guys. So how can we find out more information about that organization? So you could look them up online, uh -huh. 96 Elephants, um, or you can uh, look through different partnerships that we have here at the zoo and different organizations that way. Um, those are some of the best ways to look for them up that way. You can also find some of them on social media as well. Okay. All right. Awesome. I love sitting here watching um, this this elephant do this and know it's a part of what they would normally do out in nature. Yes. Okay. It looks like we've got like about a couple more minutes here. Do we have any other questions? Or let's let let me ask let me ask you this. What is one of your favorite things with working with the elephant? Honestly, some of their playfulness. Yeah. They love to they love to kick around balls and whatnot. Um, they will pick up sticks and toss it around like a toy. Um, in our elephant barn or boma, their home, they will there's actually a stick that is stuck in the very top of the building because one of our elephants. She was having so much fun throwing the stick. She kept trying to get higher and higher until finally it got stuck. And so watching them play and interact together, that is one of my favorite parts to see here. Wow. So um, I one thing that made me think is that you said that um, you give them enrichment by putting yeah. balls out in their um, yeah. enclosure here. Mm -hmm. And then it made me think, I wonder if elephants would be good at soccer. Honestly, they're, they kick it around and they'll play with it like that. Yeah. They yeah. will dribble the ball with their feet, kicking it around. Uh, one, they have gotten used to picking it up, kick, pick, pick up, kick and pick up with their trunk, kick it with their foot. They got it into a circle and they spin all the treats out of it like that. Wow. It's they're, amazing. They're yes. Like yeah. And their brain size is. How big? I, I mean, it's a good size. It's a good brain. size brain. So the other thing is, elephants' brains are not up here in front, like some people think. This cavity right up here, the front, where I'm showing kind of a around where my eyes are and whatnot, that's actually where their nasal cavity is at. They actually have so many receptors up here to be able to tell what's going on in their environment, different smells, different chemicals. That's actually how they do a lot of their communication. But then their brain. Is very big and it sits in the back part of their head. It's protecting them as it's protecting the brain as well. That way, that way it does not take any fun by being hit or getting into a fight. Wow, that is really cool. Let me see. Let I think we have questions. Okay. Um, just one more question here. Let's see. And it was our it was actually already answered in the chat, but we'll go ahead and ask it. Where do these elephants come from? Where do these elephants come from? So some of these elephants come from uh, Eswatini. That is a location in Africa where the government had to make the hard call that they could not stay in their natural environment. Um, we did not try to take them from the wild, but because that they didn't have enough water and they didn't have enough food, they were not able to stay there. So we worked with their government, those conservation organizations like 96 elephants and other zoos be able to bring elephants over here. So six of our elephants come from there. Another one, Tally, that big male that we talked about earlier, he was actually born here in America in captivity uh, through some of the breeding programs we offer here. It's very important that we work with those same organizations to be able to keep healthy genetic populations or herds of elephants here in the zoos. So we are not taking animals from captivity or from the wild. Into captivity. We want to give them as much in the wild as they can. Awesome. Well, that actually, boys and girls, is our time right now. So thank you, Joshua, so much for all that information. That was that was amazing and amazing to see the elephants out here playing. So oh, yeah. thank you guys, and we'll we'll see you later. Bye.